Ladies and gentlemen, right in front of me, we have camera underscore footage dot mp4. So we posted this video on Saturday, and I've been asking you guys to help me with this video to figure out what is going on. Okay, so we pretty much have a bunch of analysis right here. Let me quickly pull it up. So this is going to be a WordPad file containing everything that has happened in the video, the time frame, everything, and also possible theories that people are confused about. So let's get right into this video and let me show you how this all started. So for all the new people watching this video, first of all, this started about a week ago when I got a scary phone call. Well, first of all, here's what happened. This guy right here, this dude right here told me to go into a world in Minecraft 1.2.2 vanilla called Dimensions. Okay. I went inside and we ended up finding this weird entity thing that pretty much I guess like followed us outside of the world or I don't know it's it's really weird it's like linked from outside inside so anyways the next day I got hacked by that same entity and that is actually confirmed so we confirmed that the entity in game and the entity outside are the same they're, they're both linked or maybe it's a group we don't really know honestly and the reason we found that out is because in the game there was a paper, not a paper, there was a sign containing the exact text that we found outside on a paper that the entity left behind, which we're going to check out because that is something that people actually missed in this camera footage in here. Now, another good thing, by the way, I have, well, actually not me, but Ariel has enhanced the footage for us. So the footage that we had from outside, it is going to be some, well, not top tier quality but it's, it's pretty good it's like some old-fashioned movie technique stuff so pretty much Ariel has improved the footage a little bit it's not the best but it is somewhat visible compared to the previous one so anyways moving forward moose army after we got hacked we went back into the world twice and we definitely noticed some really spooky things going on then I decided let's bring out my little brother which by the way is actually him talking if you guys didn't know let me let me let me show you a clip I showed you this before wait a minute oh. Minibus, what are you doing Minibus, come on, buddy. Come over here. <laughs> now watch this, ready? Look at that thing. Bro, the entity followed my little brother. He was terrified. Absolutely terrified. And then my little brother was like, well, he told my mom. And then my mom called me. He's like, hey, why are you scaring him? I'm like, I'm sorry, mom. It was for a video. He's like, no, don't do this. So she got really bad at me. But anyways, moving forward. Camera underscore footage dot MP4. That is what we're currently up to. This is... Pretty much a full out video showing off the camera footage and stuff and kind of explaining things. Now, people are very confused. So that is exactly why I'm asking everybody to help me out with this. So everyone hop on a computer. Let's go through this together. Let's figure out everything possible and really analyze it. Okay. So um, let's see this 1547. All right, here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and watch the camera footage video. So we can get to the part. Actually, not the camera footage video. Let me uh let me get the original video right here. There we go. This is it. So 1547. Okay. So we're gonna go over this real quick. Alright, so here's the enhanced camera footage. We have clip one, two, and three. So this pretty much sums up everything. You dump that MP4 files, and they're not really the highest quality stuff, but it works. Okay, that, that all that matters, it actually works. So we're gonna set this aside. And let's start from the beginning so everyone understands what's actually going on. Because it is a little bit confusing to catch on to this. So, my boy... Um, right over here. Let's go to 1547. 1547. Okay. So, first things first. Let's figure out what everyone's wearing. I'm wearing a black shirt with a Moose 100 logo on it. Arrow's wearing a red shirt. Now, Cyclone, when we scared him, he's wearing a black Y3 hoodie. Same thing that I currently have on. All right, let's go over here. No one's in here. Just As you can see, black hoodie, all right, with the drawstrings. These these things, the, the strings, yeah. And I was on your bus for some reason. Okay, so that's that's exactly what everyone's wearing. Now, at the time, there's no one else there. Jeremy's not there, David's not there, and Justin was in Seattle, okay? Yeah, okay. Uh, so, that's really good. That so anyways, let's go to 1547. So this is where everything starts happening. I'm going downstairs. Uh as you can see, right? Oh, let's glitch it out. Oh, oh hey guys, my, my, uh, <laughs> I don't, I why, here. why is there a brush in my room or something, man? Uh, yeah. So at 1545, so 1545, that's when the knocks start happening. There's four slow knocks. So let's count it. Let's go back real quick. So 1545. Why, why is there a brush in my room or something, man? Right here. 1545, remember, four knocks, four seconds long. 
One, two, three, four. Kind of makes this up. I, that, was, that was really bad. But anyways. Amazon delivers this late. Dude, it's one. Arrow is beaming. So 1545. Or 1544. I don't know. You get the point. There's pretty much four slow knocks. Okay. Um, now, let's actually switch over to the camera footage of this happening. So let me show you real quick. Let's get the clip one. Okay. Um, and let's check this out. Here we go. Clip number one. So, this is the enhanced footage. It's not really that good looking, but it's way less grainy. It's less pixelated. And Arrow uses some kind of like weird contrast features that like people in like the movies use. I don't know what it is. You know, like for example, like police use like footage and stuff, and they're able to enhance it as a program for all this stuff. So we got it enhanced. Boom! Look at this. So first things first. Let's right off the bat figure out these theories. Everyone thinks first of all it's Cyclone. They're saying that this thing is wearing the same hoodie as Cyclone. Guys, guys, does this, does this make any sense to you? Hold on, hold on. Let, let's see what Cyclone was wearing. <laughs> let's see what Cyclone... Right here. Let me just write to you. you stop, need to get, stop, get you back to stop. Right here. How does this even look alike? What, what do you mean? <laughs> look at this dude. <laughs> Bro. What do you mean? How? You can clearly tell it's got like a lanky looking. It looks like a robe, actually. Not even close to what Cyclone has. Not even close. So, Cyclone Theory, right off the bat. No. Ariel Theory. Ariel opened the door with me. Also, Ariel is very, very tall. He's very, very tall. Think about it. So if I were to go outside right now and sit next to that pillar, he's going to have, well, Ariel's like 6'4", and I'm 5'11". So he's got 5 inches. So realistically, Ariel will be walking differently. He's got longer legs and stuff. I don't know, you, you can just kind of tell that Ariel's a bigger person. So let's see. You know what? I got an idea. Here's what we can do. So in this camera footage, this entity places down a paper. I remember, Ariel is a very tall person, so him placing down the paper is going to be a little bit more difficult than someone, let's say, shorter than him placing it down. So, anyways, let's go from the beginning and watch this camera footage. Okay. So, this part we have not seen, obviously, because you can't see out, you can't see it through the doors. So, let's all link it up right here. Okay, 1547. All right. The knocks. So, before the knocks, this thing outside was walking up. As you can see. Walks up. It's covered in all black. Looks like a really weird, lanky looking robe. Ready? One, two, three, four. So it's four knocks. As you can see, right there. So right here. After the knocks, it places the paper on the ground. And then watch. The entity walks away. All right? That's it. It's gone. The shadow goes away and everything. So, anyways, let's put aside this camera footage. And let's see the real camera footage from my vlog camera inside here. Ready? We hear the knocks. I turn around to Ariel. I look over to the door. Dude, it's 1am! And there's nothing else going on. Okay? But, at 16 gonna. So, let's go to the second part. 1610, right here. The entity comes back. So let's find out. Ready? I'll find out. I'm gonna call the cops. I'm, I'm gonna do it, bro. I'm like, hey, no, get, get now, here's the thing, by the way. This is the weirdest part of them all. Go, you don't think nothing that you're in my house. Boom, right here. I turn on the camera footage, the monitor, and for some reason, it wouldn't pop up. It was glitched out or something. Look, look at that. That's that. That's legit. Look at that. You clicked it. Ready? Wait. Hold on. Yo, yo, chill, dude. Look. You see that? But the camera footage recorded perfectly fine. So I think it's just kind of like a glitch with the monitor. It is an old monitor though. So here we go. So as you can hear, let's rewind it real quick. Six oh six. Wait. Hold on. Yo, yo. Here chill. comes the knocks. Dude, look. One, two, three, four. Yeah, get out there and get it. Take the Dude, no. Now watch this. Ready? This is clip one. Let's get rid of this. Let's include clip number two. All right. The 
black figure walks up. You can actually slightly, by the way, you can slightly see. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Look at that. So this is the only thing I've noticed from this camera footage. You can slightly see the face. Here we go. Knocks on the door. And then walks away. That's it. Knocks on the door. Walks away. So 610. Alright. Comes back. We hear four knocks. Leaves. Okay, the four knocks are two to, two to three seconds long. And then just walks away. Alright, I found the camera footage. This is the old camera footage. Really, really bad quality. Okay. That was one part. It was okay. It's like a crazy reaction section. <laughs> and that should be it. You should see the door opening here. There we go. Door slightly opens. Boom. So, anyways, let's go back over here. Let's, let's actually rewatch the clip one more time. Let's see if we can figure anything out. All right. I want to see what, if we can like figure out any small details. Camera footage is pretty visible. Very grainy still. Look at that. So this is definitely not a hoodie or something like that. It looks like a robe in a sense. It's like very lanky stuff. You can slightly see some type of a figure right there. Almost like... Can't tell if it looks like a face. Now this part. I think the entity has... It kind of looks like it's long hair, but for all we know, it could just be like a robe or something. You know what I mean? Okay. Definitely a robe. Walks away. Oh, 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 oh right there. This looks like either hair, long black hair, or, or could be the robe, but I think that is actually long black hair. So maybe this entity is a girl or a guy. Huh. Didn't really think about that. Guys, comment down below. What are your thoughts about this, okay? Here we go. Walks away. That's it. Okay. So, that's it for that camera footage. Now, at 16.33, Ariel walks outside. So, we have already covered all three of these. All right. Now, let's go to 16.40. We find a piece of paper outside. Now, in the video, the entity left the piece of paper out there way back, about almost a minute back. We saw it a minute later when we actually opened the door. Now, just so you guys know, everyone's saying, he's like, wait a minute, if you saw something outside, wouldn't you want to go outside? No, not a chance. Just so you know, guys, I will never do that. No, not even when we have, like, whenever someone comes by here or something, never open the door. You got to make sure you always know who's inside. It's just safety reasons, man. It's a, it's a big thing, bro. Especially with all the things going on in Miami, I'm very cautious of what I do. I will not open the door unless I see who's outside. You know what I mean? Like, there's no way. We don't have a people or anything. We only have camera footage outside. So, there's no way I will open the door. Especially not when there's someone knocking at nighttime. I'm like, wait a minute. Who could it be? Either a fan or some random person trying to rob me. So, that's why I will not open the door at nighttime. And please... Just for your own safety, do not open the door unless you, you can see who's outside. You know what I mean? Just be, be, very, be very cautious, guys. So, moving forward. Um, oh, we don't have the door. 1640, right here. Two, what's Yo, going on? Said, yada, yada, yada. Let's show it. And there you go. Boom. Actually, while we're here, watch this. Ready? Look at Ariel compared to the pillar. Oh, the door. Hey. He's legitimately the size of the door. Look at that. Here too. Like, what's going on? He's the size of the door. Boom. This is the paper. We find it at 1640, somewhere around there. Okay. Now this paper contains. We need more security cameras. Seriously. A text like saying. It's true. There's even one right there. Look at that. <laughs> security camera right there. And that's the one that's for outside, but it's not working for some reason. We can check the cameras. What yeah, right here. Welcome to the unknown dimension. I'll be watching you. Watch this. Ready? So this is the message we saw in game. All right. Let's go all the way back here. I'm trying to figure out where the sign was. So there was a sign in the video that we saw that said, welcome to the unknown dimension. All right. I want to find that sign. This is where we first noticed the entity. 
Okay. And I'm trying to find this sign, dude. There's like a, like a weird, like, um, welcome to the unknown dimension. Same paper that we see right here. So all of this is linked. So this is guaranteed 100% linked. So that right, right, right away proves all these theories, okay? Now, we're going to skip ahead to 1827. 1827, right here. Subscribe to the Boom. 1827, you're going to hear a doorbell ring, okay? I get up. Oh, that's what pizza doorbell is. Errol's baby. Pizza, there's no one we're there. We're going to go back there real quick, okay? You can't really see the figure. Bro, I can sort of tell it's moving on outside. Whoever's out there, I'm gonna record it all. I'm gonna Oh, by the way, fun little fact, guys. <laughs> Couple days after this, we did have uh, fans come to our place and I was like, not cool, not cool. No, not cool. <laughs> so, that was a lot. <laughs> all right. Please don't come to my house and knock on my door. It's not cool. Okay, clip number three. Here we go. There's the entity right there. Okay. You can see it moving around. And it walks up. There we go. Look at it. You can slightly see what's going on here. You can sort of see like a small face. Okay. I think we can definitely say that it is wearing some type of a black robe. It has long hair. Um, height wise. I'd honestly have to see. I'd have to probably compare it to the pillar. Mm, we could probably do that. Compare it to the pillar size. It's around this bush to here. You can't really tell on a video. But anyways, right here. It's walking around. And you can't tell. Okay, the camera did not really get that part. But the entity leans towards ringing the doorbell. Okay? The doorbell is on the right side. There we go. It's pacing back and forth. I want to see if I can see its face. Yeah, look at that. Long hair. 100%. 100%. Oh, yeah. This is perfect footage. Okay. Boom. There we go. Walks up. Rings on the doorbell. Walks out. That's pretty much it. Now let's see the old footage of all this. Walks up, rings the doorbell. This is the same one, right? Let me check. Paces, and then walks away. There we go. These are the three clips here. Um, I guess if you, if you wanna be able to analyze this specific video, guys, if you go on a computer, you can see everything clearly, okay? And you'll be able to like go through the video and then figure out yourselves. Um, watching on the phone is going to be very difficult because, I mean, look at this. It's a small screen. So, that's all we really have. So, I'm, I'm asking you all to help me out with this. Help me figure this all out in the comment section. Let's actually look at the comment section. Let's see what we got. I've looked at it multiple times. Moose, call the police to finish this mess. <sighs> Getting the police involved is a mess. Honestly, we have camera footage and stuff. It is a mess. And, by the way, our neighborhood is guarded by police. And they do go through the location. So, if they see anything suspicious, they will... You know, call it out, of course. Psycho is wearing the hoodie. You see in the camera footage. We confirmed it. No. There we go. But where was Psycho when the knocks happened? He was upstairs playing anime. I mean, uh, playing Roblox while watching anime. You clearly saw in the video. So, um, Moose, I hope nothing bad happens to you. Grace, I appreciate you. Moose Army is here for you. Moose Army, everyone comment down below. Hashtag Moose Army, guys. So, get the night vision equipment for that one camera or any other, other camera. Now, the thing is, since we are renting this place, I would love to buy the replacement camera footage because then that means I can have some better camera footage and I can instantly see everything on going outside, but you can't do that. They won't allow you. And plus, there's no point of replacing the camera footage for a place we're renting, you know what I mean? So, uh, moving forward, I think someone's trying to troll you. That actually could be a possibility, honestly. This could be a possibility. So, that's actually one of my theories. Arrow theory, crossed it out, Okay. We, by the way, we saw this already. All right. Trolling theory. Very possible. That is very possible. You never know. A fan could be trying to troll me. My neighbor could be trying to troll me. I don't know. 
there's a lot of people that really know what we do and it's also very obvious um what we do by looking at our cars brandings and stuff so anyone could be kind of trolling me you know what i mean and if anything really starts to happen i'm obviously gonna get the cops involved because i do not want any problems but that's pretty much it i mean and also what else to say about that so yeah one like equals one save moose account nice okay 1450 something moved behind the glass door oh, two to three seconds yes something did actually move. Dude, no, bro. i check it again look at this and i check the camera footage again like the, the, the monitor i'm sorry the monitor doesn't work the uh top teen um Oh, it's 14.15. Wait, here? I, I know what they're talking about. I saw like something actually moving there. I okay, well, that's about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's what I'm going to do. All right? To end this video off, like we did in the previous one, I'm leaving the entire camera footage of everything that happened at the end of this video. So, over here, I only have clip three, by the way. Don't forget to subscribe, tap the bell, Moose Army, leave a like, go buy some Moose Push at I hope you all did enjoy Moose Army. You are the best. I really appreciate everyone's support, and I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to tell your friends about this. Tell everyone you know about this. Let's see what they think. Tell them to get the reactions and stuff. Get some analysis of this video and help me out with this, okay? I'll see y'all tomorrow with a better video. And tomorrow, I'd say tomorrow, we're going to revisit the world again. Let's see what happens. Last time I was there, it was my brother. We're going to revisit it again. I'm going to try my best to make contact, try to communicate with this entity. Now let's see what happens. And I'm going to slowly figure out what its weakness is and how we can expose it. I'll see you tomorrow, Moose Army. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to follow my Instagram and my Twitter at It's Moosecraft for some sneak peeks of the upcoming things, upcoming videos and stuff. And I'll see you tomorrow.